very good morning from Budapest in Hungary where you join me at the start of a rail journey that's going to eventually take us all the way east to Chisinau in Moldova. That's the plan anyway. Now tonight's part of that journey is an overnight train of about 15 hours from here in Budapest to Bucharest in Romania. Now Budapest, Bucharest, Chisinau, these are all cities that I've never been to before. So in my limited time, I'm keen to have a wee look around and see what I can find. But my main aim today is to try and tire myself out a bit because as you may know, I never sleep well in overnight trains. Hey, look at this grand building behind me. I've got a feeling this is the market. So I think we should go and check it out. Wow, what a place this is, and it's got everything I've come to expect from European markets. All this lovely fresh food housed in a gorgeous building, and it seems to be on a few different levels as well. Honestly, I just compare this to the supermarkets back home, where at the moment it's sometimes tough to get your hands on a tomato. Look at this. It looks like this is the place to get all your Budapest souvenirs, just as well I've got the excuse that my bag's too small. But to be honest with you, I'm more interested in this amazing old building rather than the stuff they sell in it. Right, let's push on because just beyond the market I saw what looked like a really nice old bridge. And I think that Budapest is quite famous for its bridges. Oh man, this is actually incredible. When you leave the market, it's like the city just opens up. Now we're on the Pest side of the Danube at the moment. The Danube, of course, one of the great rivers of the world. And on the other side, you've got Buda, which appears to be the hillier side of the city. So I guess I can't say I've actually been to Budapest until I've crossed this old green bridge. Now this is the Liberty Bridge, although some people take getting a photo here a wee bit seriously, but it is absolutely gorgeous. And the Danube is looking mighty fine this morning. I'm actually doubling back because I started out walking across the left-hand side of the bridge but it appears the other side's got a much nicer view. Ah, this is definitely the better side of the bridge to be on. And the one thing I noticed straight away is how compact it all looks. This looks like a very walkable city. And if you know me at all, that's a theory we will be testing today. I've changed my mind again. Haven't seen the castle over in Buda. I think that's when we'll go across the river. And for now, we'll stick on this side, the east side, because I want to take you somewhere that I share a name with. Now, of course, I know nothing because I've only been here for about an hour, but I do already get the feeling that Budapest would be a great city to live in. So if you live here or if you've studied or worked here, let me know what you think in the comments. Wow, just looking up there, it's such a grand place. All these important looking buildings. I'm gonna say it again, folks. I wish I had more time here to explore. You got all the river boats lined up along the riverside here, but they don't seem to be moving much in winter. That'd have been really nice to have a wee cruise along the Danube. But the one thing you want to do is go down and touch the water but I can't seem to get near it. There's little bits like this where there's steps, but they're all blocked off, and I'm not brave enough to jump over that fence. And in fact, here's all the cruises that you can do on the Danube. That'd be really cool, wouldn't it? Ah, candlelit dinner cruise. How nice does that sound? But maybe not when I'm here on my own.
Oh, amazing. Here's some steps without a barrier. Let's go for it. Oh no, I've got new trainers and I don't want to get them dirty already, but we are going to touch the water of the Danube if it's the last thing I do. There we go, folks. Mission accomplished. All that proves is that I'm the worst kind of tourist. No, I'm not investing in your economy. I just want to touch your rivers. Oh no, disaster! The chain bridge, which is probably the most famous of the Budapest bridges, is closed for construction. And I can't work out how to get across this road. Right, we've made it. I'm always a wee bit scared just crossing roads anywhere in Europe because they're pretty keen to give you a ticket for doing stuff like that. We're going to have a look around this side of the river and then we'll try and work out how to get across to Buda. We might just need to jump on a bus or something. But it's a shame we can't walk across the chain bridge with all this construction going on. We seem to be in the heart of the city now because there's a Ferris wheel and every city's got a Ferris wheel these days. I wonder how much it is. And if that is us in the city centre, then what I'm looking for is not too far from here. There we go, St Stephen's Basilica. Awfully nice of them to name it after me, eh? It started to spit with rain, but that's okay. It was in the forecast and it's only meant to last about an hour, but this is a good time, I think, to spend our pocket money and go into the Basilica. I think that makes more sense than going on that big wheel. Right, so I got my ticket. That cost the equivalent of about 10 quid. Not too bad, I think. And that gives me access to the church hall and up in the elevator to the panoramic view. Let's go and have a look. Wherever there's a big staircase in a city, I always find it. Look. Well, I've gone so far by stairs, but I'm going to bail out now and take the elevator the rest of the way. Right up we go. I feel so bad about taking the easy way out, but I'm absolutely knackered already. Before we go outside, look at this big dome. That must be the dome that you'll see when you're inside the church hall, which we'll be going to in just a little while. But look at the other big dome up here. Wow. This is a super cool viewing area right up in the dome and it's not actually scary at all. And I think we're a wee bit higher than the Ferris wheel. So I'm glad we chose this one instead. Now my sense of direction can't always be trusted, but I think the station's over that way and that's also the way to Romania. So in a few hours time, we'll be stepping on a train over there and taking the 15 hour journey to Bucharest. Really looking forward to that. Right, I'm now going to take you on the full 360 tour of the panoramic viewing area. I might not make it without bumping into people, but we'll give it a shot.
Ah, we did pretty well. We almost made it round without bumping into anyone. This really is such a beautiful city, but the only thing that confuses me is I came up here on the hour to hear the church bells, and I didn't hear a single ding. But then I have noticed that it is actually 1pm when I thought it was 12 noon, so maybe I just missed that ding. I must admit I was expecting it to be an old wooden staircase, but it's actually a lot more advanced than that. Your ticket also gives you access to the treasury and I'll tell you what, there's a lot of treasure in here. All these robes and old artifacts, it's beautiful. The inside of the main hall of the Basilica is mind-blowing. I don't think I've ever been anywhere this impressive. If you come to Budapest, you've got to come here. It's unbelievable. Right, my only thought now is how do I get to the west side of the river without crossing that chain bridge? That's my next challenge. I did manage to just sneak over there to take a photo, but the guy was saying that if I want to cross the bridge, I just need to go down to this bus stop and the bus will take me across the bridge for free. So, we'll do that. Hi, I just go across the bridge, it's free, yeah? yeah. Thank you. So there we go, a wee free bus journey across the river and that's us now on the Buddha side of Budapest. And this is the hilly side, so I'm going to try and take the wee funicular to get up that hill. And there it is there, how cool is that? How incredible is this old funicular? I'm so excited about this. It did cost 3,000 to go up and down again. It's quite pricey. I'm guessing that's about six or seven quid, but it's gonna be worth it. Oh man, this is so cool. Well that was a unique wee journey and it does give some amazing views back over the river and the city although I would argue that the view from the Basilica is better but one thing I have noticed from here is what I think is the Parliament building back over on the Pest side so we should go back over and have a look at that 
But first we'll have a quick look at Buddha Castle. Well, the bits we can see for free anyway. To me this looks more like a palace than a castle, but maybe I'm just used to the castles back home. And I hope I've got it right or else I'm going to look really stupid. Right, I need to get moving again, but before we go, one wee observation. On this side of the arch, the lions are quite noble and chilled and relaxed, but follow me. On the other side, someone's clearly upset them. Right, let's move on. We've got a schedule to keep. It's looking quite busy for the trip back down. So just along to the end of this little windy street and we should be at the Parliament building and time-wise, I think that'll be about us. That's as much as we can see in Budapest today. So there we go, the mightily impressive parliament building and what a fitting place to bring to an end to our wee adventure in Budapest today. Now this might not have been the most exciting video in the world but Budapest is an incredible destination. And although the focus of this trip is more the transport side of things and getting all the way to Moldova by train, I do like to bring you a wee bit from the cities that we pass along the way. So I really hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one, bye bye. So here we are folks, welcome to Bucharest. It's the Paris of the East, they say. <laughs>